It's a video that has been posted and reposted now with several million views of a USC college professor interacting with pro-Palestinian protesters. The audio claims to have economics professor John Strauss saying that all Palestinians should die. He says no. His comments uh, were that Hamas are murderers. They should die. Uh, he is now teaching his class remotely. He's the subject of a campus Title IX investigation, which is a probe over a violation of the school's anti-discrimination policy. So, Professor Strauss, thanks for taking the time. Um, what happened? So I heard a lot of noise um, at the middle of campus. It was a big um, pro-Palestinian demonstration. And... There was no way around it by the time I got there. So I started walking through and I heard just a lot of screaming and shouting like death to Israel, cut off Israel from U.S. funds, um, things like that. So that got me a little unhappy. And so I shouted Israel forever. Hamas are murderers. I went to my class, I taught my class. Then I walked, uh, started to walk back and all of a sudden a voice, uh, a woman whom I don't know who it was, screamed at me, shame on you, Professor Strauss, and calling me by name. Shame on you, Professor Strauss. And I called back, no, you were ignorant. Shame on, no, shame on you, you were ignorant. Hamas are murderers. That's all they are. Uh, they must be killed, all of them. And all of them was referring to Hamas. The pro-Palestinian group had put um, a video online in which I am quoted as saying death to Palestinians. I never said that ever. I don't, I wouldn't say it. I, I don't believe that. I started receiving many um, emails, really vitriolic emails, death to Professor Strauss, Professor Strauss should be fired. The provost had put me on administrative leave that I was not allowed to be on campus for the rest of the semester. I am allowed to teach remotely. So that's, that's where we are, Conan. They claim that you walked uh, purposely on a, uh, a list of names of, uh, of those who had died, Palestinians who have died, as sort of a memorial list, that you uh, desecrated that by walking on that uh, intentionally. So when, um, when, this woman started to yell, shame on you, Professor Strauss. I started to walk towards her and doing so um, probably walked on one or two of these lists of names. And then a couple of people came over saying, telling me what I was doing and got me from, you know, got me out of there. So I didn't do that anymore. Do you have any regrets uh, as to uh, this exchange? No. No, I don't. So you believe the, the audio was doctored, that they, they left out the, the Hamas part to make it sound like you were condemning all Palestinians to death? I don't, first of all, I never said that. Second of all, I don't personally believe that. Did they say that you're teaching, as re, you're teaching remotely not, not because, of a, uh, uh, because of what you did, but, but in, in fear for your safety? That is maybe part of it. Um, it's a little hard to tell, but um, but that could be part of it. What is your hope from the campus administration? I am very unhappy that the administration is not supporting me um, completely. And um, on the other hand, I've been very surprised and touched at the large amount of support that I have been getting uh, both from faculty around the university and from students around the university. I've gotten an incredible amount of support and I, uh, that's really uh, encouraged me a lot.
Professor John Strauss is an economics professor at the University of Southern California. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you very much, Conan. Appreciate it. Up next, it was one of the deliverables from the Biden-Xi Jinping summit in San Francisco, the campaign against fentanyl importation into the United States. We talked to one activist who lost a son to the drug when we returned.